Dinesh said M score. What is it and does it actually work? So Binish M score is actually the model to uncover any accounting fraud that a company might have undertaken. Uh, it was created by Professor M. Daniel Binish in uh, of Kerry Business School, and it was published in a paper in 1999. So what this model does is it looks at the financial statement information, some of the key information, to generate a score, which is a probabilistic score of checking if a company might have undertaken uh, an accounting fraud. So how does it work? Uh, it works at two things. So one, it looks at what are the situations in which it increases the likelihood of a company taking an accounting fraud. And second, how do they achieve it? So what are the things they might be doing in, with the fine, uh, accounting statements to manipulate their profit. So for, as I said, first one is basically what are the chances, what are the situations it might lead to an, uh, an, a, an, a company taking accounting fraud. So if a company has a decrease in gross margin, it might incentivize them to take certain measures to look their statements uh, better. Second could be if they have a rising operating expenses and a rising leverage. Again, that might also incentivize uh, them to take uh, to, to manipulate their profits. Third one is uh, if, they, uh, uh, if they are showing significant sales growth and for a, for any reason if that sales growth start to, starts to slow down, it usually have a serious impact on their uh, stock price. So that might also incentivize the management to take certain measures to hide the slowing sales growth. How do they do it? They, the company might do it by accelerating the sales recognition. So they might recognize uh, sales early. They might do it by increasing the cost difference. So maybe they, they might push the uh, certain cost in the future uh, financial years. They might raise accruals uh, and they might reduce depreciation. For example, they might increase the useful life, life of assets uh, so that the depreciation expense is, is lower. The score is calculated by looking at eight variables for the likelihood of uh, any of the above issues that we already talked about. So this is the detailed formula. It looks at eight variables uh, and it calculates a score based on these variables. So it looks at, uh, the first one is the DSR, Days Sales Receivable Index. So it's essentially if the receivables are going up or down. If the receivables are going up, uh, it might mean that the company is taking some kind of aggressive counting practice to recognize the sales early. Next one is the GMI, Growth Margin Index. This one again is the uh, the whether the growth margin is going up or down. If the growth margin margin is decreasing, it might in, in, incentivize the companies again to take certain accounting malpractices. The third one is the AQI asset quality index. It's essentially the non-current assets as compared to total assets. This uh, fourth one is the SCI, Sales Growth Index. So, uh, as I said earlier, if the sales, sales, is, sales growth is high, and for any reason it starts to slow down, the company may, may want to hide that slowing sales growth. So, they have an incentive to take up an accounting fraud. The fifth one is the, the uh, Depreciation Index. So, if the depreciation uh, it starts to slow down, which means the companies might be trying to uh, lessen the impact of uh, depreciation uh, on, on the uh, income statement. The 
Sixth one is the SEI, Sales Center and Administrative Expenses. Again, if the company's uh, uh, SEI expenses are going uh, up, that might also be an indication that um, that company might take up accounting for us. The fifth one is the accrual index. <clears throat> so, how much uh, accrual uh, is that increasing or decreasing? The eighth one is the leverage index. So leverage is how much uh, leverage company has, so how much debt or loan uh, that company has taken. If company is highly leveraged, and for any reason it, they, it, there is an indication that they may not meet their uh, uh, loan commitments, it might incentivize them to, to hide the problems in their financial statements. Now that was a formula, but uh, as you would have seen, uh, it, it might be quite cumbersome to calculate all that manually. Uh, luckily, the Kelly Business School has a online calculator that you can use. You just need to plug in the numbers that we talked about uh, from financial statements for current year and prior year to come up with the numbers. I'll also go with an example towards the end of this uh, video to see how this online calculator works. So is it effective and should you use it? It's a probabilistic model, so which means it, it looks at the possibility of company might, uh, uh, who uh, might take the, uh, that might take the account export, it's not predicted with 100% accuracy. In the paper, the author had claimed to uh, correctly identify 76% of the manipulators, while incorrectly identify 17.5% of non manipulators. The popularity of the model might make it formal, might make the formula less effective. So, if more and more companies understand that people are using this model to find out whether they are uh, taking up accounting fraud, they may not try to manipulate these um, the parameters in the model. They might, they might look at other things or other ways to do the CIT accounting. Uh, still, it's useful to learn about each of these variables, even though it may not always identify the accounting fraud. I'm going to take an example of uh, Toshiba. What Toshiba had done it, they had uh, taken up an accounting scandal uh, in which they overstated $1.2 billion in operating profits. So I'm so this was uh, this was found out in 2015. So I'm going to look at the statements of 2013 and 14 to see if we would have been able to identify the Toshiba accounting scandal using this. Uh, model. The found out X-ray website where the uh, financial statements are available uh, from 2030. So we are going to look at this information and then we will fill up the, the information over there. So first one is the, so we will put 2014 over here. So the first variable is the account receivable. So we will look at the receivable in those two years, so 14, 241, and 1466. 14, 241, and 1466. Okay, next variable is current assets. So total current assets are 33656 and 3666. Okay, next one was the current liability. The current liability, as you can see, is 29188 and 26538.
look at total assets 64965 and 59927 uh, the next one is PEE net so PEE net is 9411 and 8836 okay, long from that uh, library long from that 11047 and 11503 now we will go to income statement Sales for revenue is six one seven zero five. And six B eight one zero. Depreciation expenses. Okay, so it's not directly given, but we can obviously calculate from these two lines. Um, so the difference, we'll just take a rough number. Um, so this looks like 4, 2, 6, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3. One six. Yeah, our rough number should be fine. I think we don't have to be exactly accurate. Uh, we look at 2014. So this is around one seven five eight one six five eight. Uh, we look at cost of goods sold, 46642, uh, 47240, SGA expense, 12995. <laughs> I'll just put the net income first. Net income, yeah. Um, so that is one zero one eight. And five eight four. Look at cash flow. So cash flow from operating activity one four zero seven and two seven five eight. Okay, we'll hit submit. Okay, as you can see, it has given it as this uh, AMP score of minus 3.295, which means it's a non manipulator. You can also look at uh, you know, this, this uh, 
graph or uh, uh, like a graphical representation of what would make it a uh, menopy data and what would have made it a non menopy data. So anything that is uh, less than minus two, uh, or sorry, more than minus two, uh, is uh, non menopy data. Anything that is less than minus 1.78 is a uh, manipulator, a likely manipulator at least. Uh, but as you can see, actually, it was not able to identify uh, that Toshiba was a manipulator. So this model is not perfect. It looks at probabilistic, again, because it was in 2015, and this model came out in 1919. So Toshiba uh, would have known that this, uh, what are the things that people look at. And it, came up with different uh, practices to hide the accounting fraud. Uh, 